Conan, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of your women. That is good. That is good. It's been like a really weird time for Marvel Comics since the pandemic shut down since they've come out. It just had all these really weird delays and production issues. Now, remember, initially they came out like one week would be periodics, and the next week would be trade paperbacks and periodics. They're starting to get back to normal. We're, we're seeing all these just weird delays happen here and there. And now we've got a big one, folks. We do know that on Wednesday you're going to see King of Black number four, the penultimate issue before the big finale. Obviously, this is the big null story that – uh, Donnie Cates and Ryan Segman him working towards for a couple years in the uh, pages of Venom. Obviously, we had the absolute carnage of event series as well that, that was essentially a, a precursor to this event. This event, so this is obviously a big deal. Now, King in Black is is no small event either. It started in December of 2020 and was scheduled to go until March of 2021. Now it's going into April of 2021, and there are a lot of tie-ins associated with King and Black. Not just mini-series and one-shots, it's also tying into to regular series. So the dominoes are falling, the biggest one being Venom 200. Obviously, we'll get the, the exact dates and specifications of all the things of, that have happened as far as um, Marvel Comics production schedule, and they're, how they're releasing things in conjunction with this delay of King and Black number five. If you are expecting that event to end in March, you will sadly be, be mistaken because that is not happening. Now, before I get into the details of these Keegan Black related delays with Marvel Comics, I do want to say if you're enjoying the content, you like comic book news and opinion, it's time to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. You know, hit the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this, a thumbs down if you don't. Either way, what are your thoughts on Keegan Black number five being delayed and the other other delays that we're having? Now, this isn't gonna be anything quite like the original. Like Civil War delays and some of the stuff like that, where it was really uh, messed Marvel's production up quite badly for for months on end. This is the very last issue. Originally, it was solicited for 24 March. It has been pushed back to 7 April. So apparently, Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman needed a couple more weeks to get this issue ready to go. Obviously, this will be the the finale and you know leading right into Venom 200. Now, that, it, that comic book has also been delayed. Originally, it was scheduled for the 14th of April. It has been met, pushed back three weeks to the 5th of May. This is the final issue of Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman working together. They said they're never, ever in their lives going to work on Venom again. Do you believe the wording? A lot of people think the, the series will be renamed King Venom or something like that. Obviously, if that is the case, there's a good chance we'll know in the May solicitations when we finally see those. Maybe there's a, a Venom 36 with a new creative team. We shall see. Now, Venom 200 is a big deal. Not only is it uh, you know, a milestone, but they're charging $10 for that comic book. And Ryan Stegman is not the only artist on that one. So that, that figures to be a very, very big deal. Is Flash Thompson coming back? Is he going to be the new Venom? It, it kind of sounds like Eddie Brock is going to be dead. There was some speculation that Dylan Brock would be the new Venom. Wouldn't it be cool if it was Flash Thompson? I love that uh, you know, uh, Agent, Agent Venom series by Rick Remender with Flash Thompson. I wouldn't mind going back. Obviously, it would suck if Rick Remender wasn't on it <laughs> because he was a big part of why it was good. But I, I do think we're going to get some fall on this stuff. Who knows what's what's going to happen with, with Venom 200, but it is delayed, folks. So if you were ecstatic that April 14th was going to be your Venom 200, au contraire, mon frère. That is your King of Black number five day. On May 5th, you're going to get your Venom 200. Interesting enough, this one doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. So King of Black number five originally, like I said, was supposed to be released on 24 March. It's been moved back two weeks to 7 April. Check out this change for Fantastic 430, a King and Black tie-in. Originally solicited for the 10th of March, so two weeks before the original King and Black number five release date, it's been moved back to the 14th of April, one week after King and Black number five. The sequence of when this thing comes out during the King and Black story must not be very important, or 
You know, it would need to be it would need to come out before King of Black number five. I think Fantastic Four might have just slotted itself. I think Dan Slot must have messed up his production schedule again. Maybe they said, you know what? This gives him an opportunity. Let's move it back four weeks <laughs> and see if we can get Fantastic Four and its release schedule back on on schedule, on schedule, as the Brits might say. I don't know. Is anybody reading Fantastic Four anymore? I think the people buying it are just like putting it in in a bag, and putting it in their long box folder, Fantastic Four Complete Collection, and not reading it. That's the um, the feeling I get. This is let's call let's talk about the solicitation. The two and one terrors. Marvel's first family are divided and at each other's throats as the earth ending threat of King of Black rages on. Half of the Fantastic Four are nullified and out to destroy their remaining friends and family. If that weren't enough, an ancient force has reemerged in the multiverse. How the hell does that happen? King of Black Five's already over. Did they give up on Dan Slot? I think they did. So if you want to know what happened in the Fantastic Four after King of Black is over, you're going to have to check out the. <laughs> you're going to have to check out Fantastic Four Thirty on April Fourteenth, a week after King of Black is over. We also have a delay on Namor Number Five. Obviously, this was a King of Black specific miniseries, written by Kurt Busiek. Originally scheduled for the thirty-first of March, now coming out fourteen April. Obviously, one week after. King of Black number five. Just like it was before, it was originally scheduled one week after King of Black number five. Now it's, it maintains that schedule. The grand finale, as the dark tide threatens Atlantis, Namor, a two-man dormant, make a desperate, dangerous attempt to save the under, undersea world. But even if they can manage it, it'll come at a great cost. Learn the fate of Atlantis, of Atuma, of the dark tide, and the future of the dark tide as well. That's not... That's not a very good solicitation. You're using the term dark tide too much. I think they, they meant something else there. What will come of King and Black for Namor and Atlantis? You know what's interesting is uh, on the Venom 200 cover, there's a picture of, of Venom with the with Null Sword. Does King and Black end in Venom 200? Is King and Black number five not the actual finale? Like the final story of that or the, the final issue of that story? Have we been bamboozled? It wouldn't be the first time from Marvel Comics. Planet of Symbiotes. This one is interesting because it's got Rodney Barnes, the writer for Philadelphia on Image Comics, and the artist on Philadelphia is Jason Sean Alexander. He's not the artist on Planet of the Symbiotes, unfortunately, but he was he was the artist on Spawn before he kind of moved off that title. And his art is great for Philadelphia. So if you like kind of weird horror books about vampires, go check that out. So this is that writer here, and also Steve Orlando, which I think at the time was supposed to be a big get for Marvel Comics. It doesn't feel like they're giving him big get projects yet. Obviously, he does have that um, Magneto and the Mutant Force, and he's a co-writing. He gets co-writing credit here on King and Black Planet of the Symbiotes number three, and that is being moved from ten March to seven April. Originally, it was supposed to be released two weeks before King of Black number five. Now it's being released the same week as King of Black number five. A dark shadow looms over Cloak and Dagger, plus the return of Toxin. There you go. If you enjoy Toxin, one of the offspring of Venom, you should definitely read that one. I'm a big fan of Rodney Barnes. Not as big a fan of Steve Orlando, but he was, he was supposed to be the big get. I'd rather see Rodney Barnes get more work at Marvel, but that's just me. And those are those are your delays as far as the the tie-ins to King of Black. We have another change. This one has nothing to do with King of Black, but nonstop Spider-Man number one, which you've been hearing about for I don't know two years now, it is now coming out on March 10th. No reason for that delay either. This is the Joe Kelly Chris Pachalo Spider-Man series we've all been waiting for for a very long time. Also, Dale Eaglesham gets an art credit. I thought Chris Pachal was going to be the primary artist, but this is a plus-size comic. Maybe there's some extra pages from Dale Eaglesham. Get ready for the most action-packed, pulse-pounding, adrenaline-pumping comic of all time. <laughs> I don't even need to keep reading the solicitation. This book is not for the faint of heart. Check with your doctor before reading. It could be, if you got a bad ticker, non-stop, non-stop Spider-Man could be detrimental to your health. 
I'm going to take my chances and read that one. A little bit disappointed it got delayed again, but it's the first issue. If you're going to start delaying, might as well do it on issue number one. So if you've been looking out for that, like I have, you're going to need to wait for 10 March. And that is how the dominoes have fallen for Marvel Comics in their King of Black event. King of Black number five, the final issue. Or is it the final issue? It is the final issue of King and Black, but is that the finale of the story? Does King and Black wrap up in Venom 200? It almost feels like it has to. Because they originally had King and Black tie-ins releasing after King and Black number five. We do see Venom with the Null Sword in Venom 200. And there's also that really strange Avengers 45 cover. I don't remember the exact date that comic is being released. But that was supposed to be a King and Black tie-in that came out in like three weeks after King and Black number five. Nothing makes sense here, here, folks. I think we've been bamboozled. I think the final, the the end of the King of Black event is actually in the $10 Venom 200 comic. Tell me I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I gotta be wrong, right? There's no way Marvel would screw people over like that if they were enjoying this King and Black event. They wouldn't. They wouldn't dare end it in another series that they were charging ten dollars for. That doesn't sound like Marvel. I could be wrong. I have no idea. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.